What is up everybody? Today, this video is gonna be about the five keys to weight loss. And after this video, you're gonna be able to take these five keys and start watching those pounds drop. So let's get to it. So, weight loss. One of the main resolutions every single year. And guess what? None of those pounds are dropping. But you know what is gotta be different? You're actually gotta be losing some weight. Key number one, set a clear goal of how many pounds you actually wanna lose this year. Is it five? Is it 10? Are you gonna lose it in three months? In one month? You wanna make sure you're super, super clear on how much weight that you're losing. Because if it's not, you're just gonna be, oh, I just wanna lose weight. Well, you'll never have that set clear goal and you'll really never feel accomplished because you'll lose weight, you'll gain weight, you'll never really feel driven to reach a certain goal. So make sure you have a clear vision and a clear set goal of what weight you wanna hit. Now keep in mind, one of the healthiest ways to lose weight is to lose between one to two pounds a week. So anything more than that, I wouldn't really recommend. Key number two, flip your diet. That's right, what are you eating? That's gonna be the, one of the main factors of you losing weight. Now you have to remember, it takes around 3,500 calories to equal one pound of fat. So if you can lose 3,500 calories in one week, that's a pound a week. You're like, man, no one, 3,500 calories is a lot. Well, if you split it up over seven days, that's 500 calories. And if you already go ahead and work on your diet to take up 250 of those calories, you're halfway there. Remember all those things that your parents told you Back, back in the day, eat your greens, drink your milk. Well, guess what, they actually were kind of right. One of the main things you wanna focus on is half your plate should be fruits and vegetables. And that's to make sure you're getting the right nutrients in, plus it's a lot of food for less amount of calories. Second, you wanna make sure you're eating an adequate amount of protein. These are all your lean proteins, so your lean meats, poultry, beans. You wanna make sure that you're getting a good source of protein in because that's gotta be your muscle. Right, you don't wanna just lose, lose weight and that's it. You wanna lose weight and have some muscle in there so you get that nice toned look. You also wanna make sure that half of your carbs are whole grains. So that's basically like your whole wheat pasta, your brown rice, your whole wheat bread, and that's because this has fiber and fiber actually helps the digestive system in your body. So when you're getting ready to lose that weight, your body's like, you know what, let's do it. Key number three, hit the gym. You know, one of the biggest things to lose the other 250 calories is to do some sort of activity. Get your heart rate up, burn some calories. You can go to the gym and run for about 20 to 25 minutes on a treadmill or on a bike, and guess what? You'll lose around 200 calories. Another really, really important thing, and please, I'm telling you, please do not forget this. Do some sort of weight training, and the reason why is because when you're doing cardio, you're burning those calories at that moment. When you're lifting weights, you're actually be burning calories up to 24 hours afterward. That is huge. To be burning calories and you're just sitting there, psh, I take that any day. Key number four, track it. All those previous keys, none of that will matter if you don't track it. You wanna make sure you track it so you can look at the small wins, look at the progresses that you're making over that time frame. Two of the apps that I love the most to use for tracking are MyFitnessPal and JEFit. Is that JFit? JE Fit. My Fitness Pal is great for logging your food. And basically, you get to log your food, get to see what is it that you're eating. They have a really cool feature where you can actually scan barcodes. So you get to see the proteins, the carb amounts, how many calories you're eating. Keep track of your weight. It's one of the best nutrition trackers out there. JE Fit, man, that is like my Bible app. I've been using that since 11th grade, since 2011. That's crazy but it's super, super reliable. You can basically put in the workout that you're doing and log the reps and the sets of exactly everything you're doing. It's pretty useful and you can actually see the progress of your weights going up and down and what you're lifting. Number five, the fifth key to weight loss, stay consistent. If you don't, guess what? You're gonna lose five pounds, maybe in like, let's say two and a half weeks. Then next thing you know, you gain a pound. No, you gotta keep pushing forward, keep doing the same things, over and over and over again, adjust when needed, but just understand, respect the process, understand that you're gonna be losing weight over time, and when you do, you're gonna be like, dang, look at me, I lost all that weight. If you stay consistent with your eating, with your activity, and tracking it, you're bound to lose weight. So those were the five keys to weight loss. One, set a goal. Two, 
flip your diet. Three, hit the gym. Four, make sure you track your progress. And then five, stay consistent. So those are the five keys to weight loss. If you really like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can make sure you're staying up to date for whenever I post videos about my different health topics and my workout videos. Now before I end this video, I have one question to ask for you. What is your biggest struggle with weight loss? Put it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed. You already know, embrace the